Hey everybody, this is Nick from Cometa Camera with a quick tip for you. Now, some of the most common and popular lens accessories are, of course, filters. Now, we sell three main types of filters here at Cometa Camera, including this, a UV filter. We also carry circular polarizers. And, of course, neutral density filters. Now, each one of these filters has a very specific purpose, and we're going to go over how each one of these filters can make a big difference in your photography. So the first type of filter we'll talk about is a UV filter. Now, this is basically just a clear piece of glass that filters out ultraviolet light. And in the film days, that was really important. Now that we have digital editing, not so much. So the main purpose of a UV filter nowadays is to protect the front of your lens. Now you already have some protection on the front of your lens, it's called a lens cap, but that's only useful when you're not using your camera. When your camera's in use, the front element of your lens is subject to dings and scratches and fingerprints, moisture, dust, God knows what else. So it's important to cover it up with something like a UV filter. So that just screws onto the front of your lens. Make sure that you get the right filter size. There we go. And voila! Your lens is protected from dings and scratches and all kinds of other hazards. And most UV filters are multi-coated with a really hard surface so that they don't get damaged even if you do something stupid like scratch it with a screwdriver. And that's really a nice thing to have on the front of your lens because after all, a UV filter is relatively inexpensive and it's a lot cheaper to replace this than it is to replace this. Next is a circular polarizer. Now, this has a specific purpose that does more than just protect the front element of your lens. Now, you can see here on the filter itself, it has a little ring around the bottom, and that can be turned to change the level of polarization. Now, how does this work, and what does it do exactly? Well, when you screw this onto the front of your lens, it allows you to remove reflections from surfaces such as water, glass, and it's also very useful for increasing saturation when you're shooting nice blue skies. So if you're shooting any landscapes or anything like that, then a circular polarizer filter is really nice to have on the front of your camera. And last but not least, the ND filter. Now this comes in different levels, ND4, ND8. And the ND stands for neutral density. And basically what this is is like sunglasses for the front of your camera's lens. It cuts down on the amount of light that enters your lens so that you can shoot at really wide apertures or very slow shutter speeds in bright conditions. So for example, if you're shooting portraits on a really sunny day and you want to fill in those shadows with a flash, that's when an ND filter comes in handy. If you're shooting a waterfall or other body of water and you want to create the illusion of motion, that sense of motion from the water moving, it's good to have an ND filter so you can slow down your shutter speed. Now one thing I should mention about ND filters is just because they're dark doesn't mean they're solar filters. So if you're going out to shoot pictures of the sun or an eclipse or anything like that, don't put one of these on the front of your camera and think you're going to be okay. You will fry your sensor. But in lots of other situations, an ND filter is great. So what's this all going to cost? Well, that depends, of course. Generally speaking, UV filters are the least expensive, with ND and CPL filters being a bit more pricey. Another factor to consider is the filter diameter on your lens. The bigger the filter, the more money you're going to have to pay. And then another factor is what brand you're getting. So for example, we have Vivitar brand UV filters in a variety of sizes, and these are basically your standard filters. These run from $5 to $10, thereabouts, depending on the size of the filter. Now, if you want to step up, you can go with Hoya. Now, Hoya's filters are made to more strict tolerances. They're a little bit thinner, they have better light transmission, and they have more multi-coatings, so that means that they're more durable and can resist things like fingerprints and smudges and other contaminants like that. And then if you really, really, really want to step it up, you can go with something like Hoya's HD3. Now, these have tons of multi-coatings, and they're very, very durable, and you really get your money's worth. This is about a $100 filter, so this is something you want to put on your really special glass. Now, you can also save money by getting your filters in a three-pack. This Vivitar three-pack of 67 millimeter filters is only about $15, so that's a really good value instead of getting all your filters individually. And, of course, we have the same thing with Hoya, so you can save money no matter which brand you get. And, no matter which filters you get, no matter which brand you go with, you can get all of them with fast, free shipping at Commanda.com.